this is just a quick video to show how to use a circle as a smoke object. So at the moment I've got a, a cube in here, so I'm just going to delete it. And if I go up to create a circle, I'll just zoom in a little bit. If we, at this point, just add a quick effect, the quick smoke, what you'll notice is that when I play this, nothing actually happens. So I'm just going to go uh, Control Z to go backwards. So what we need to do now is to go into edit mode with the sphere and then press F. And that fills in the circle so the, with a plane. Now if we go back to object mode and go up to the quick effect and add the smoke, we should now see smoke coming through. If we then move across to the particles area, selecting the circle and not the domain, so the actual circle itself, and go to the particles, we'll see it says flow here. And we should be able to change that to fire and smoke. And then again, if we just go back to the beginning and press play, we should now see that there's fire and smoke in that. And if we just do a quick render and see what happens, there is our fire and smoke. So if we just recap, what I needed to do in edit mode was to ensure that um, I'd actually filled in the circle with a, a, a surface, a face. So I'll just quickly go through that one more time. And just delete everything. So add the circle, go to edit mode, press F, go back out to object mode, and then select the smoke effect. There we go. And then in the particles area, change, make sure you select the circle as that is the flow and then change that to fire and smoke. Send that back to the beginning and we should now see fire and smoke. And there we go. Hope that helps. If there's any more issues, please let me know and uh, I'll get back to you as quickly as I can.